Hello friends, welcome to CAD CAM Station. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you that how you can create a coordinate system right inside the CAMWorks which is an add-in for SOLIDWORKS. So before starting the video, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, share with your friend, like the video, this is most important, okay? and. Uh, don't forget to write a comment below into the comment section so that uh, you can tell me that what other things that I should add into those video tutorials so that I can make video tutorials more interactive and informative for you guys. As I already told you, these videos are very informative and free, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon, okay? So without wasting any time, let's get started. So. As I already uh, taught you in the previous video that how to configure your machine then uh, how to add a stock material on your main component and uh, now is the time to show you that how to um, add a coordinate system on your uh, main component this is very important step because uh, this um, step which is the coordinate uh, adding a coordinate system on your um, main object defines or allows your um, CNC or VMC uh, to how which point from which point the tool should start or take a reference okay so this is the reference point like as you can see here I have created a custom coordinate here I will show you that uh, why I created this so tool will uh, automatically use this uh, reference point to work around this main component so as you can see here after creating the stock material let me just give you okay so i will tell you again so here is in the coordinate system when you double click on it you will see the method of applying coordinate system when you again if you noticed when you double click on it that it will automatically appears there is a coordinate system whose the uh, z direction is an upward direction same as you can see here in the solidworks window so in the method there are solidworks coordinate system what are these so basically solidworks coordinate system is the coordinate system which you have created a customized coordinate system which i have created here you can use this under this you can create as many coordinates as you can wherever you want when you click on it it will display all the coordinates like here as you can see it will display all the coordinates if you defined other coordinates here here at the same time it will show all the lists of coordinates that you have created under the solidware coordinate system once you have selected the coordinate systems of your choice click ok it will create the coordinate system at that point the other system of defining coordinate system is the user defined there you will get a plenty of options like entity for example um, at present it is a custom coordinate point you can select any other coordinate like here or vertices like if you just delete this and select another vertex it will shift to that point okay you can again change from here you can see there is an axis option you can change the direction of x axis wherever you want it like here you can toggle the direction of x axis then you want to change the direction of y-axis select this box select the direction in which you want to move and toggle its direction as simple as that so this is the entity or method so another thing is the part bonding box what it does as you can see there is a part the main component with which we are working when you select it Camworks automatically generates the box around the parameter of the main component and uh, as you can see from the front 
like here it will generate up to its total length and width and all that and uh, after creating a box it will give you the option to select the vertex like here and the faces as you can see there is a spherical node available on each face and at each vertex you can select wherever you want to create your coordinate system or you start your tool from that particular point but in the stock bonding box which you just have created like this it will create the um, stock and uh, spherical nodes around it so for this particular point you will see there are uh, nodes so you can select that accordingly so the most convenient way for the uh, to do just for the sake of simplicity i would like to make it more simple so when you will get your block like this and uh, one more thing uh, i'm just gonna cancel it right here and uh, as you can see here the stock is the it's just the shape of the object i want to make it a simple stock a box stock it will give you the uh, more clear view of what I'm saying in the coordinate system version. I'm just going to extend the x direction, y direction. That's good. Now click OK. Now, when you see there is the stock of label extended around the body, now when again I'm getting into the coordinate system and use a define. So there, this is where the part bonding box and stock bonding box going to work more clearly for you. When you select the part bonding box, it will create the stock according to the parameter of your object, whether it is circular um, or whatever the shape is. It will uh, just touch the out of the parameter of your main component and create a stock around it. When you select the stock bonding box like this, it will use the stock which we just created before. You see, this is the difference between the stock and the part. Okay, stock is the custom block we created, and part bonding is the uh, just the close parameter of your main component. So select or choose whatever your requirement is just uh, for now i'm just selecting the stock bonding box and uh, i'm going to start from the bottom center like this and i want to change the orientation i just wanted to or you can just simply place it as it is okay uh, because uh, there is this is a symmetrical or uh, just a perfect square so you can place it whatever uh, whatever the position you want but if it is a rectangular shape then you can change the xy coordinate accordingly from this system so once you are happy with your coordinate system you can simply click ok and uh, let me just hide this coordinate system which i have created here so now again back to the coordinate system so so this is how you can create your coordinate system in the canvas okay so as i already told you when uh, whenever it is required you can again change the uh, coordinate system from there okay so you just have to simply double click on your coordinate system and it will again give you the options where you want to place it you can simply place it on the top on the corner just like that so whatever the uh, node you are trying to select or you selected the tool will start from that point and take it as a reference and create a tool path uh, around your star main main component so this is it my friends for this video tutorial I hope you understand that how to um, create a coordinate system uh, around uh, 
or coordinate system inside the canvas and at which place or at which node you want to place your coordinate system so this is very important to start with in canvas so if you don't understand that what i have told you here so you better be check my previous video where i've told you that how to uh, set up your machine setup and then stock how to create your stock then uh, this video will definitely make some sense for you if you watch my previous video i will provide the link below down into the description so that you can easily reach out to me at that point so i hope you enjoyed this video so make sure you subscribe my channel and uh, don't forget to um, write the comment because it will make um, um, me aware that you are uh, getting something from me okay so it will help me a lot to uh, improve my content so that is it for now my friends um, you are watching CatCam Station signing out for now.